WNBA draft predictions. 100%. 100%. 100%. Well done, guys. Right. <laughs> That's going to be me for the playoff picks. Just oh, so. oh, <laughs> You're going to repost that same thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah, what were your takes on the players? Yeah, so definitely Indiana, they have a lot of posts. Um, so I don't know how they're going to like cope with mm. a really good post coming out of the NCAA. But I am intrigued to see if she turns this team around because they mm. haven't had much success, mm. even with Tierra McCowan. Mm. Like they've got really good post players and they they haven't they really yeah, yeah they haven't yeah. done much. So I am interested to see how it goes with her in the league mm. and also just to watch her play. You know they were sagging off her. She can't really play her game properly because people weren't guarding her properly. So it, it will be interesting to see. Yeah, because she's definitely going to be guarded out there. And it's just so... Do, don't you find it weird seeing, like, like watching them grow? Yeah. And that, mm. you do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Did you yeah, play yeah. against her? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's so, like, wow, man. Mm. Good for her. Like, I'm, I'm really excited. She's a hell of a player, like mm -hmm. I keep saying. And I, I think she does have the potential to bring something. She's a huge asset. Mm -hmm. So I feel like she can bring something to Indiana and... Yeah, change it, man. Yeah. And they're all going to feed off it. And, you know, that's that's a story to tell. Like, yeah. they're going to change it. That'd be really interesting. Yeah. Team to watch? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Player to watch. Players Market to watch. players. Yeah, yeah. she's... Yeah. yeah. No, fair, fair. Player to watch. So what do you think, like, the main thing that she will bring to the game is? Her, like, she plays really good defence. And she can finish really well around mm. the basket. She can... Do you know what I mean? She, I feel like as she's out there, she's going to improve more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And her, her game may change. Do you know what I mean? She might have to find different things to do. And that's what's exciting because we just don't know yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I would love to see her, like, develop her three. Um, yeah. Because that wouldn't give anyone a reason to not guard her mm -hmm. outside there. Um, she can shoot from, like, 15 feet, but three-pointers, she don't really have that in her game. Mm. But the touch she has underneath the rim, inside of the paint, is fantastic. Mm. So it will be interesting to see that. It's something that you will definitely develop now that you're part of a team. Yeah. yeah. Full time pro life. Yeah. You've yeah. you got to skills. play inside out pretty yeah. much. And she has the ability to do so. So hopefully. Yeah, because um, I never, I don't play pro. That's why I. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, unless I'm wearing the bronze because they give you so much height. <laughs> That you've just got a little bit extra confidence. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, who else um, do you think is a player to watch? Um, definitely Maddie Seagrist um, was scoring the most points in the NCAA. Mm. I feel like she'll be like a Caitlin Clark mm. or like a Sabrina Inescu. I feel like she'll just be fantastic to watch. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, mm. hell of a player still. Just the different ways she scores. Like she, um, there was like a percentage thing that I've seen um, on ESPN and Savannah Wilkinson was actually on there. It mm. was like the highest points in each, like each foot on the court. Mm. So like she had taken up like five different sections from inside, like just outside of the um, free throw line extended, but like her game is amazing. Mm. Mm. So shooting, you think that's the thing she's yeah, going to yeah, see? Yeah. What are you looking forward to in terms of the NBA now, now that all of these new players have been drafted, like what are you looking forward to watching? Just how they like how they merge into the team mm -hmm. and seeing if like team gameplays change in a sense like how they play as a team like seeing if that changes because new players are coming in mm -hmm. it's always interesting because like like when NBA trades come in it's just like you know they've got to change everything about the whole team mm -hmm. so see if there's like a different dynamic within each team mm -hmm. I think that would be quite interesting yeah, yeah. I also think that this might be the year that we've seen like I, I, I don't know about you but like watching the WNBA draft like I, I felt like this was probably the year that They've put the most into it um, in terms of like just all of it, like the production of it mm. all. And I think probably off the back of um, off the back of March Madness and the numbers that they've been getting in terms of those, like this might really be the year that we start to see mad numbers for the yeah, WNBA. Um, and I really hope that. Um, but like the production that they put on for this, I felt mm. like it was the best one I've seen so far. Like, what do you think? Yeah, no, same. And it was like the record breaking viewers mm, in mm. A, for a women NBA draft this year. So it just shows that people are actually paying attention and like wanting um, to watch women's sport. Mm. And it's just about time now that these big org organizations also invest in women's sport because mm. there is an audience out there that is watching it so yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's also like setting the foundation for 
what everybody has been tuning in for with mm. the with the NCAA. It's like okay, now the 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 next draft as well, the players that we've just seen mm. is going to be something that everyone's looking forward to as well. So yeah, it's like yeah. okay, let's start getting into the the game and yeah, it's understanding. Yeah what they're getting into from now. Yeah. yeah, and guys, if you haven't listened to our episode, make sure that you go back and listen to episode three because we talk about that pipeline um, from NCAA to WWE. I guess the other thing that like we've seen also is like the charter flight extension as yeah. well. Um, I guess probably another example of them like putting more yeah. um, emphasis into the WNBA. What do you think about that? No, honestly, it's good to see because it's, um, I think sometimes we speak a lot about the WNBA and it can move quite, they need to do this, they need to do mm, that, you know, yeah. like respect the players. And now it's like, you know, it's a small step, but it's a step, mm, you know, it's the fact yeah. that we're stepping in the right direction and it's just good to see. Yeah, yeah, definitely. For me, it's wild to think that I was in college <laughs> getting private jets to games yeah. <laughs> and I'm not getting paid and, you know, I'm going to these games and losing sometimes. But you've got like professional athletes that are getting on... Um, commercial flights mm. with people and I find that crazy to mm. think the WNBA season is only what three four months mm. if that and the amount of flights that they would take is nothing compared to what the NBA are you mm. know flying every single game so yes it's a step in the right direction that we finally are getting it for the playoffs mm. but you know I feel like we need to have it for the whole season yeah yeah definitely and hopefully again that pipeline um, means that they're going to start putting more emphasis on yeah. that as well. As well. But one um, thing to credit, again, I mean, it feels like we're always giving it to the NCAA, um, do, do. but one other thing to credit um, them for is that they are bringing a game, a play-in game to yes. Europe. That is major. Like, to yeah. think that we've been, what, like, I don't know about you guys, but trying to get NBA in London tickets when they were doing it in London before they moved it to Paris, mm -hmm. nightmare. Did anyone ever get tickets? I was yeah, never in the country. Year. Never. One year. One year, yeah. Which one did I you think get to? I think it was the Knicks versus, versus Bucks. Bucks. Yes. That was, I got tickets to that game and I got um, snowed in Nigeria. Oh, oh. No. snow in so, Nigeria. <laughs> there's a whole story as to why. Oh. I booked these flights, going to Nigeria at Christmas is expensive, so I took Turkish Airlines, never do it. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a snowstorm in Turkey and it meant that I couldn't go. I'd oh. sell my ticket on the oh. day. It's terrible, but yeah. That was my first ever NBA game. Yeah, yeah. Did really? You, yeah. Did you enjoy it? No, not really. Uh, who oh. won? I believe the Knicks. I believe the Knicks won. But there, I didn't really, yeah, I wasn't paying much attention. Oh, fair. It wasn't really, there wasn't really the atmosphere. atmosphere yeah. Yeah. We didn't feel like the same. Yeah. Oh, no, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Um, but I guess that was, I was probably like three, three years ago or so, maybe four years ago. I think four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hopefully the community will look different now. Um, but yeah, I guess like that is one of the things that, like one, one thing I always loved about the NBA and the idea that they're doing that for the NCAA, I just think that is so exciting. Mm -hmm. um, it's in Paris, where we're all going. Guys, if you want to make sure that we get tickets, make sure we get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Interviews, whatever you want. Just, just call, call Steph. Call Steph. She'll make it happen. <laughs>